हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट पोलर प्लॉट सो विल ड्रॉ द पोलर प्लॉट ऑफ द सम बेसिक फंक्शंस ट्रांसफर फंक्शंस वी कैन से लाइक जी ऑफ एस इज इक्वल टू वन डिवाइड बाय एस स्क्वायर सो विल ड्रॉ द पोलर प्लॉट ऑफ जी ऑफ एस बाई इज इक्वल टू वन बाई एस स्क्वायर ओके सो विल हैव द स्टेप बाय स्टेप सॉल्यूशन फॉर दिस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट स्टेप वन सो एज यू नो दैट द गिवन ट्रांसफर फंक्शन ऑफ जी ऑफ एस इज इक्वल टू वन बाई एस स्क्वायर सो व्हाट वी डू वी पुट एस इज इक्वल टू जे ओमेगा इन स्टेप वन इन the given tensor function so g of j omega is equal to it becomes 1 by j omega square and that means this is the equation number 1 and the step number 2 as we know that in step 2 2 what we do we find out the magnitude as well as and phase of equation 1 the given tensor function uh, what we do we will find out the magnitude as well as phase so the magnitude of g of um, uh, j omega will be equal to 1 by omega square only how it is 1 by omega square only the as we know that x plus if we have jy then the magnitude of x plus jy is equal to x square plus y square Similarly, if we have zero plus j omega square uh, magnitude, we have to find out. Then what we do? We will take zero plus the second term is j omega square. So the j omega square and whole square. It is nothing but we, it is equal to so omega to the power 4 and the value of omega plus to the power 4 is omega square so the mode, um, magnitude of g of j omega 1 by j omega square is equal to omega square only we can put this to the question number 2 and what about the uh, angle of 1 by j omega square that means phase of g of j omega is equal to minus 180 degree as we have discussed in my uh, first lecture the step to draw the polar plot that if we have 1 divided by j omega as a um, uh, transfer function or um, the values then the angle is nothing but minus 90 degree if it is 1 divided by j omega square the angle will become minus 180 degree when it is j omega that means in numerator then the angle is Plus 90 degree. When it is j omega square, then it is 180 degree. Similarly, we have 1 by j omega square. That means 1 by s square. The main transfer function is, and the angle is equal to minus 180 degree. Okay. So now we'll go for the step three. What we do in uh, step three? We put omega times to zero and omega times to infinity in equation number two. Okay. So when we put g of j omega omega tends to 0 what we get we will get the value 1 divided by 0 is equal to infinity and when we put g of j omega at omega tends to infinity we get 1 divided by infinity is equal to 0 okay now again we put omega tends to 0 and omega tends to infinity in equation number 3 so in equation number 3 we have g of j omega is equal to minus 180 degree even we put omega tends to 0 then then also will get minus 1 180 degree because there is no omega terms here and at minus 180 degree at omega tends to infinity it is also minus 180 degree isn't it so for your uh, for convenient purpose we'll draw a small table and we'll write here start point and end point okay 
स्टार्ट पॉइंट मीन्स मीनिंग इज ओमेगा टेंस टू जीरो एंड एंड पॉइंट मीन्स ओमेगा टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी ओके सो एट एंड पॉइंट इज सॉरी ओमेगा टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी सो एट स्टार्ट पॉइंट ओमेगा टेंस टू जीरो द मैग्नीट्यूड वैल्यू आई एम डिनोटिंग हियर मैग्नीट्यूड वैल्यू इज मैटूज इज हाउ मच एट स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट द मैटूड इज इन्फिनिटी एंड एट द एंड पॉइंट द मैटूड इज जीरो सिमिलरली द फेज आई एम डिनोटिंग इज बाई फाइव फेज इज डिनोटेड बाई बाई फाइव एंड द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट फेज इज माइनस वन हंड्रेड डिग्री एंड एंड पॉइंट द फेज इज माइनस वन हंड्रेड डिग्री इज एंटेड मीन्स वी कैन से दैट द पोलर प्लॉट विल स्टार्ट एट माइनस वन हंड्रेड डिग्री एक्सिस एक्सिस एट द मैटूड ऑफ इन्फिनिटी एंड इट विल एंड इज एट माइनस वन हंड्रेड डिग्री एक्सिस इट सेल्फ एट जीरो डिग्री जीरो मैग्नीट्यूड इज एंटेड सो विल ड्रॉ हियर the polar plot like this okay so this is the 0 degree axis minus 90 degree axis minus 180 degree axis and minus 270 degree axis okay so from the table we can see here <coughs> omega uh, i'll i'll just put here that um, table also so that will have easy to draw so at omega tends to uh, that means the starting point is minus 180 degree axis and at in start will be at omega is equal to see that this is the 180 degree line axis so infinity will be somewhere the last of this axis isn't it so this is we can say this infinity and it will end at same axis minus 180 degree at zero this is that means you can start from here and you will end at this point isn't it that means this is the start point start omega is equal to 0 and this is the end point here end at omega is equal to infinity and this value the magnitude value is here infinity this is infinity right and this is the magnitude value is 0 here isn't it so this is the polar plot of g of S is equal to one by S square. That means it will be on the axis of minus one degree in the straight line. It will start from minus infinity and it will end at at will end at zero degree, isn't it? So this is the uh, polar plot of given Tasso function one by S square. It is very basic, and we can easily draw. Similarly, one by S cube. Um, uh, uh, even though we can draw of one uh, by s plus one, one by s plus two, that means the basic transfer functions which does not contain uh, contain um, many zeros as well as many poles, isn't it? So hope you have uh, understand this concept. Thanks for watching this. For more queries and questions, mail me or message me on my. Uh, uh given email id hari mohan rai at the rate gmail dot com you can subscribe my youtube channel by my name itself hari mohan rai thank you